Hi, welcome back YouTube. Um, I want to do a short video for you guys today and talk about uh, bee forage. Uh, this is the time of year that beekeepers are trying to figure out what to plant for their bees for the coming season. Um, and one of the favorites of bees and beekeepers alike is clover. Um, they have a ton of different kind of clovers. There's red clover and crimson clover and white clover, yellow clover. Um, there really is a ton of them. Um, you do have to kind of be careful which ones you buy. The red clover, the ones that are, have the purple flowers on them, uh, bees cannot use them. Their mouth parts are not big enough to get down into the flowers to actually get the nectar from them. Um, crimson clovers, the ones that are really deep red, um, the bees love those and they can really work those good. And my personal favorite is the white Dutch clover. Um, it makes a beautiful honey. It's really light. Uh, it's one of the best honeys in the world in my opinion. Uh, and there's other reasons why I like the white Dutch clover. Um, one of the other reasons I like it is because you can scatter it out and it's, uh, it'll kind of seed itself into your lawn uh, or wherever you want to put it. You don't really have to till it up and plant it like a crop necessarily. Um, it won't hurt if you do, of course, um, but it grows really well in like a suburban lawn type area. Um, it stays really short. It stays probably under six inches. You can train it to be lower actually if you mow it um, repeatedly um, while it's not blooming, of course. Um, it'll bloom the first year that you plant it. Uh, it can bloom up to twice a year. Uh, in certain areas like we are in Mississippi down here, it can bloom in the spring and then in the fall again in like October it blooms. Um, it's self-seeding. It can spread up to six inches a year on its own uh, once it takes root. Um, and I want to talk about something else. Uh, you can see on the bag here it says nitro coat for clover. Um, and we had a discussion on Facebook the other day um, someone was saying that he couldn't find any clover seed that wasn't coated and he was really afraid um, to be giving his bees some kind of systemic pesticide. And I tried to reassure him, I'm not sure if it worked or not, but I, I want to take a minute and do a video about it. <clears throat> These seeds are coated. This is a natural seed and this is a natural coating. Okay, nitro coat is actually on the list of OMRI for organic growers. So uh, it it's, or it's an organic substance. And what it is, there's a couple things here. Um, it contains a live rhizobium bacteria, which is pretty necessary for legumes and clover to grow properly. Um, basically, this bacteria forms nodules on the roots of these plants, and it takes nitrogen from the atmosphere and the soil and converts it into plant food that the, these plants can use. It's called fixing nitrogen. I'm sure you've heard that before. Um, so this coating contains a rhizobium bacteria. And it's held in place by a coating, and this coating is calcium carbonate. And what that does is basically allows the seed to absorb water uh, to, to give you a quicker germination time. Uh, so that when you spread it out, the seed's not just laying around and having a chance to mold or uh, anything like that. So there's nothing wrong with the coating on the seed. And if you find clover seed that is not coated, you're going to need to inoculate it yourself um, if you want it to really do what it's supposed to do and uh, you know achieve its maximum potential. So in uh, that process I read up on it and uh, it sounded kind of messy and it sounded a little intricate. So I opted to go for the coated seeds here um, and I think this 50 pound sack we bought it last year from Hancock Seed in Florida I believe. It was $180 shipped here to the farm um, which is actually a really good price at the time for a clover we had a lot left over here so what I want to do this year is I'm going to spread it out in my lawn and I think I'm going to take it and start going down the trails towards my deer stands out there and see if I can't get uh, this whole place where there's grass to kind of be a field of clover. It's kind of tough here on clover in the summer times, late in the summer uh, everything kind of burns up out here so um, but it blooms in the spring and in the fall so we're going to see if we can't do something with it. Um, I really want to use this seed up before uh, we've had it for a year, a year and a half or something like that. So before it goes bad, I kind of want to use it up. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what the coating on this clover is for um, and assure you that it's not a systemic pesticide. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.